The next question was about uh, gastrulation in sea urchins. So just a quick reminder, to get there, you have to have fertilization. Fertilization will give you a zygote. Then the zygote will undergo cleavage and cleavage will give you a blastula. So we're gonna start out with our blastula. Oh, there's an ice cream man close by, that's always exciting. Our blastula is gonna be our ball of cells. And inside this ball of cells, if we cut it open, uh, you know, just sliced it right down the middle, we'd see that it has a hollow in it. For a sea urchin, this hollow is really large. For a frog, it's much smaller. And we call this hollow the blastocele. In a sea urchin, the first thing that's going to happen towards gastrulation is going to be that these bottom cells, the vegetal pole cells of the blastocele, are going to start to get um, long um, and stout. And then they're going to change shape. So um, they're going to change shape next. So first they're gonna get kind of long. Now, the next thing that will happen is the shape change. So they'll basically have these little microfilaments along here. Um, when these contract, it will make this side of the cell shorter than the other side of the cell. And it will give us these wedge shaped cells with one side longer than the other. And that will give us a curved tissue like so. So this side, um, got smaller. we we'll call that apical construction. Uh, so the next thing that's going to happen is actual gastrulation. So next up is gastrulation. And in gastrulation, we're going to form a gastrula. And in the process of gastrulation, we're going to move cells around with respect to each other. And uh, we're also going to form the, the germ layers of the, um, of the animal body. In this case, a sea urchin, just like us, has three germ layers. So as these cells are changing shape, that's going to cause a shape change um, in the gastrula. So if we cut it down the middle, we're going to see an argenteron. So here's our layer of cells on the outside. Okay. Um, these cells are actually a lot smaller than this. There's more of them here, but I'm drawing them a little bit big for now. So here's our archenteron. Uh, and at the very tip of this archenteron, we're going to have our mesodermal cells migrating inside the blastocele. So these are our mesodermal cells. So I should say future mesoderm. They're kind of a mess still right now. They're migrating into the blastocele which if you kind of like imagine like a soccer ball, right? Like on the outside, it still looks kind of like this, uh, but on the inside, it has this big hole in the middle. Now we've, um, you know, taken this and, and poked in an indentation in one side, and that indentation is going to give us the archenteron. So the archenteron is the whole indentation, and the opening to the archenteron is the blastopore. The archenteron is our primitive gut. So archae for primitive, enteron for gut. That's the archenteron. All right. So if we just want to do kind of a fate mapping, see all of the different germ layers um, at a gastrulous stage, let's just redraw this cross section, but without all of the cells in it. So it'll look like this. Uh, around the outside, we're going to have our ectodermal cells. So those are the ones that would have been like up here. These are going to be our ectodermal cells, and they're going to undergo a pibili to cover most of the outside of the embryo. So they're going to get wide and flat and then uh, move around the whole embryo. They're moving across the whole spherical surface, not just, you know, in this one plane, but all over the place. Um, the part that lines the archenteron, um, that's going to be these cells here. Uh, so that's this here. Those are going to be our endodermal cells. Okay, so we've got our 
end of term. In blue, we have our ectoderm. And then those cells that migrated into the middle, these are gonna be future connective tissue. So they're gonna be kind of wiggly woggly. These are gonna be our mesoderm. Oh, I didn't draw it like that. Here we go, I just wrote a list at the bottom. Those are gonna be our mesodermal cells. And then still we have our hollow blastocele in the middle here. So I should kind of draw that here. So we still do have a blastocele. So that's basically what our um, gastrula looks like, and those are the different parts. The blastocele, the blastopore, the archenteron, the endoderm, the ectoderm, and the mesoderm.